A tsunami has arrived in St. Louis. No, not the storm, but a rescued sea turtle named Tsunami. Fox 2's Dan Gray reports the turtle has been through three years of rehab after being hit by a boat off the coast of Georgia. Well, today he flew to St. Louis to his new home, the St. Louis Aquarium. The turtle has landed. Three hours in the air from Jekyll Island, Georgia to St. Louis, he handled with no problem. But when they started to land, Tsunami got a little nervous. The Brown family, hired by the nonprofit organization Turtles Fly 2, accompanied him on the flight. He's a little, a little escape artist. I actually had to get down there on the floor, turbulence rocking back and forth. I, I don't know how close to the ground we are, and I have my hands shoving him back in there, <laughs> grabbing him by the shell. It's like, like wrestling a bull. It was crazy. Tsunami had three years of medical care at the Georgia Turtle Center. He was in critical condition after a boat propeller hit him in the head off the coast of Georgia. But he's doing well now, and after a half-hour car ride to the aquarium downtown, he showed a lot of energy as he was put into the holding tank. I know, darling. Okay, yeah. well, we put him in the tank. It looks like he's doing really well, doing what a typical sea turtle will do and basically destroying the tank already. The 15 to 20 year old marine turtle could grow to about 500 pounds. The aquarium curator had put the word out with rescue organizations that they'd like to have a sea turtle. The large 250,000 gallon shark canyon tank was built with a large turtle in mind. When we designed it, we built a lot of hides and stuff for him to get under, uh, a lot of overhangs that he can scratch his back on because they really like doing that. Tsunami will spend a few days in this 1,000 gallon holding tank. Then the aquarium will move him to Shark Canyon, a 250,000 gallon tank, hopefully by the end of the week for the public to see. At the St. Louis Aquarium, I'm Dan Gray.